my friends and welcome to Aspen Cooking. Today we'll be preparing this gorgeous, tasty, and very simple recipe of ahi tuna. Let's get right to it. I have purchased this beautiful wild caught, never frozen tuna steak from Costco. They had a great deal on that. If you can find one of these in Costco, go ahead and make a purchase. You will never regret it. Uh, for this recipe, besides tuna, we will need a couple of simple ingredients. It's sesame seeds. We have black ones, we have white ones. We have honey and avocado oil. I'm using avocado oil, but you feel free to use any other oil of your choosing. We're gonna go ahead and mix our sesame seeds in a plate and create, just mix it in and create like a bed for uh, dumping our tuna steak. We will add salt and pepper. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give our tuna steak a quick trim, just so I have a more rounder shape um, and uh, it is more manageable, but you absolutely don't have to do that. You can uh, cook tuna steak just the way you receive it. You know, there's the way you get it from the store. Um, I think this is good. I think this was just an extra piece in here that um, we didn't want to kind of hang on the side. And uh, um, we will proceed with the uh, um, next step, which is coating the uh, steak itself with honey. I'm just going to go ahead and create a light coat. Um, we use this as a um, bonding agent as well as a seasoning. It will give it a nice, tangy, sweet taste. This will allow us to make sure that sesame seeds mixture gets bonded to our steak properly and we will get a nice thick coat of it for frying. We will go ahead and proceed and make sure our tuna steak is properly coated on all sides with all this beautiful tasty goodness. I'll help it. And now we are ready to proceed with frying. Now we're going to go ahead and add, as I mentioned, avocado oil into our pan. We will add quite a bit of it. Actually, let's have a look. I'm going to be quite liberal with it. I'm gonna steak. this tuna is a sushi grade tuna and uh, all we're trying to do is just uh, sear it a little bit on the top with a cold center. A couple of minutes and I think the oil is right, the right temperature right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and transport our tuna steak over into the pan. to fry it for just a couple of uh, minutes on each side. We're going to go ahead and flip it. So here's the color that we have. Our sesame seeds, you know, cook just a little bit. We want them to pop as we proceed to eating it. Now it's time to cut our beautiful tuna steak. This turned out to be absolutely amazing. This is the result that I wanted to achieve. And here it is, look how flaky this tuna steak is. This is amazing. I can't wait to try it. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to give it a quick cut. Oh, this is delicious, look how flaky that is. Mmm. This is incredible. I love it. That is the result. I'm going to properly describe the recipe and everything that I have used in this video underneath in the description. And if you like this, please put the thumbs up to the video and subscribe. Thank you. I will see you next time.